Saint Teresa of Los Angeles, in the middle. Uh, Bishop elect John Durkler. Um, okay, so I guess the first question is, um, what's kind of the emotions that are that are running through you right now? What are you kind of what's kind of going through your head right now? Well, a, a lot of things. There's uh, feelings of ex excitement, uh, little feelings of some nervous anticipation uh, as uh, as we begin for uh, just this wonderful celebration. What are some of your convictions? Um, Gosh, that's kind of a, a broad, a broad question. So uh, I, I certainly uh, uh, you know, believe in Jesus Christ. Uh, a strong conviction of mine. Okay. Um, I guess a different question that I have um, is I know that. Um, what what the role that you're going to come into? How is it kind of different from the role you played? Some of the new responsibilities maybe you might have as a diocese. Oh, well, certainly. Uh, as uh, you know, as a bishop, uh, the responsibility of of shepherding the people of God in the diocese of Marquette rests primarily on my shoulders. In the diocese of Green Bay, I was primarily an assistant to the bishop to help him in this role. Do you think that being an assistant and, and helping him out it has you know given you you know uh, ideas on how you're going to? Lead the diocese here in Marquette? Uh, I definitely believe it has. I've had the privilege of serving uh, with three very fine bishops in the Diocese of Green Bay, and I've learned quite a bit from each of them. I know that you've been in this role, the, the church, for, for quite some time. Um, you've been involved with Elder Frayer. Did you ever see your career taking this type of, of role or this type of a position? Uh, this came as a complete surprise to me. I didn't anticipate it at all, but it's a very happy surprise. Okay, and um, is there anything that you would want to say to the people, the, the Catholic um, people in Marquette? Or, you know? I'm delighted to have this opportunity to serve the people of Marquette as, as their bishop. Okay, uh, do you mind me asking? Yeah, and specifically about the roles that you had in Green Bay, um, how do you feel like those have prepared you for the roles um, that you'll be taking on here? Can you mention in particular? Well, I think uh, having the opportunity to work uh, closely with the bishops of Green Bay have, uh, has given me an opportunity to, to learn a bit about the role of the bishop, uh, to see how they made decisions, uh, to see how they cared for the people, and that they've been great examples for me to follow. And any idea perhaps how it's changed your life having those positions there and perhaps how you feel that this new position will change your life? I think everything we do in our life in some way changes us. It's a, always an opportunity for growth. And so I, I look that I've, I've grown as a human being, I've grown as a man of faith in my capacity of, of serving in, in various ways in the Diocese of Green Bay, and I hope that will be the same here in Marquette. And talk to me a little bit about what you, you are hoping to bring to the Catholic community up here in Lee too. Well, I have a basic invitation that uh, I'd like to make to all of all of the Catholics in the Diocese of Marquette. The first is to be a friend of Jesus. That's the, the heart of uh, our life of faith and to, to work on that relationship with Jesus Christ, to be a friend of Jesus. Uh, the second is to, to make a friend, to help build a civilization of love, and then to introduce that friend to Jesus because we have this great joy in coming to know and to love Jesus and just, it's just a matter of being able to share that joy with others. Talk to me a little bit about um, what, what do you see for the future of the Diocese of Marquette? Uh, I think if, if all of us try to do those three things, you know, to be a friend of Jesus, you know, to make a friend, to build a civilization of love, and, and to, to introduce other people to Jesus, I, I see nothing but uh, a wonderful opportunity for growth in the life of faith in the Diocese of Marquette. Uh, that's a, a wonderful question. Uh, the two of us met uh, a good number of years ago when he was Father Sample. We were both down at uh, Holy Hill, which is a Marian shrine outside of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we both went there to pray. And so that's how I, I first met him. I found we had similar ministries in neighboring dioceses. We had a, a number of things in common, and uh, that began our friendship. 
And so uh, I would uh, come to the UP every once in a while in the winter to go cross-country skiing with him. And how, can you talk to me a little bit about how that relationship um, has helped prepare you, um, if any, any way, to take on this new role? Well, Archbishop Sample is a, a great man of the church and a great man of faith. And he has served the Diocese of Marquette very well. And uh, I look to him as a, a good example of how to be a good bishop. And then I have one more question. Mm -hmm. Isabel, you wanted to say something. Did you think yeah, about you, anything you wanted to So once you become um, the bishop here, is there anything that, that you're going to do first? Or, or is there anything you have to do first once you accept the role? My, I, my first task, I really think, is to get to know the people of the Diocese of Marquette better. So I want to be able to go to different parts of the diocese, visit parishes, and, and try to get to know people better. So that's my, my first, my first uh, uh, goal is to really come to know the diocese. Dr. Joe, do you know um, in the near future where maybe you might be going or, or some stops you might make in the skiing future so we can post it on our website? Um, not, not yet. Okay. Uh, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll be setting that up. I think that would we, be great if you post it on the website. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and uh, probably over the next ki couple weeks, you know, we'll be setting up some of those things. Okay. So, yeah. great. And then now I just remember what I was going to ask you. Um, <laughs> just last, I think it was like last year, uh, you, there's something in the Catholic faith now. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get this right. It's uh, the new evangelization year period where they're trying to bring back, I guess. Oh, the, year, the year of faith. Yes, the, that yeah, and has. Yeah, that concluded in November. Okay. Okay, so it, it, it was, the Year of Faith was an opportunity for Catholics to focus on some of the fundamentals of, of what we believe and, and uh, encounter the Lord Jesus in the sacred scriptures uh, to, to deepen our understanding of the teachings of, of the church and uh, to help deepen our faith uh, to f help us follow the Lord Jesus more closely. Now, even though it did end in November, what are your thoughts about continuing that um, in, in the future? Well, I think uh, what the Year of Faith really did very well is help set a, a ground for evangelization, which is really a big word that means helping other people to come to know Jesus. And uh, Pope Francis uh, just issued a recent uh, document in the, in the fall called The Joy of the Gospel, which I chose as my Episcopal motto. And so the whole idea is to be able to to spread the joy of coming to know Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, thank you very much.